Hello, in this video, we will discuss the concept of ether channels. Guys, by default, on switches, there are separate physical interfaces, but yes, switches have the capability to bundle multiple interfaces into a logical single virtual interface that is called ether channel and some vendors also call it port channel. So by default, spanning tree is running on switches like you can see. I can see from the topology that this guy is the root bridge and this is NRB means non root bridge because of the lights I can see. So both both ports and root bridge are DP but FA 0 by 1 on root bridges non root bridges RP and FA 0 by 2 is blocked. So why we create ether channels in this case because we want to utilize both of the links at the same time. By default, switch as STP is running to block the, or you can say to prevent the loop, switch will block one of its port. But we will configure here a feature called ether channels. How? I will click on switch one first of all. So let's say this is switch one. Let's name it switch one. Let's name this switch a very quick. Switch two. Now I have to bundle which ports, which physical interfaces. On both the switches, port numbers are 0 slash 1, FA0 slash 1, and FA0 slash 2. So I will bundle them. How? So interface range FA0 by 1 to 2. Because I want to bundle these ports, so I will call them with a range keyword. So I don't need to run the you can say the aggregation command separately on both the ports i am running them in a single group so channel group channel group after that i have to define a number and after that mode now what is mode actually mode will define how you want to configure this ether channel so there are two ways to configure ether channel First is you can configure statically. Second is you can configure dynamically. So for dynamically, we have two protocols, PEGP and LACP, LACP. PEGP stands for Port Aggregation Protocol. And LACP stands for Link aggregation control protocol. Basically, functioning of both protocol is to configure ether channels dynamically. Dynamically means switches will exchange information with each other and they will have some comp compatibility parameters. If those parameters are compatible, they will negotiate ether channels. But the only difference is Cisco. Uh, Cisco proprietary, proprietary protocol is PAGP, whereas LSCP is an open standard protocol. And uh, yes, there are some working differences also like PAGP supports link aggregation only for 8 ports. But yes, LSCP supported for 16 ports. But yes, that we can discuss when we discuss about LLDP, not now. Now we, we will just see how we will configure Ether channel statically. So static configuration is also called on mode. On mode simply means two switches will not negotiate anything. They, they will just form the ether channel. So I will use here mode on. I will move to switch to interface range f0 by 1 to 2 channel group 1 mode on. So one is one is basically the port channel interface number that switch will create. Let me go to the paint file. See, for example, this is my actual topology. Switch one, switch two. Which links are there? Two links are there. Link number one and link number two. So, for example, this is link number one. This is link number two. 
so now what you have now what you have done you have bundled both the ports on this switch this particular switch now what switch will do switch will create a logical interface itself switch will name that logical interface port channel and that port channel interface will have a number so that will be your group number that you have defined while configuring the port channel Sorry. Like we can see here, show ether channel summary. So this is the output. We can see there is a port channel number one which is created. S means the type of port channel is layer two because we are creating it on switch ports, which are basically the ports which belong to a layer two switch. Ports which are member of the bundle are FA0 by 1 and FA0 by 2. Let's go to switch 2. Show Ether channel summary. Port number 1 and port number 2 are member. Yes, Ether channel is layer 2 and it is up also. Guys, next thing. Let's say now you want to configure this port channel as trunk because you want to pass traffic for VLAN 10 and 20 both. So first of all, let me assign IP addresses, then I will show you how to configure the mass run. 10001, 10001, 2001, 2002. Now, how I will configure them as trunk? I will show you but first of all let me configure the users in particular vlan vlan 10 vlan 20 so first i'm creating the vlans fa port number is 0 by 3 here yes 0 by 3 and 4 so no problem with port numbers interface fa 0 by 3 switch port access vlan 10 interface fa 0 by 4 switch port access vlan 20 to another switch in VLAN 20. Now we have to configure a trunk on port channel interface. So there is no need for you to go to the physical interface, go to the port channel interface. Just run the command switch port trunk. Sorry, switch port mode trunk. So that's all you have to do it on both the ends. Interface port channel one, switch port mode. Now, my particular port channel will act as a trunk link. Now you can see there is no orange light on any of the link because both physical links are acting as a single logical link that is called port channel. And if I want to pass traffic, it is successful. It is successful. So both VLANs are both VLAN users are able to communicate. So guys, in this video, we have seen what are Ether channels, how you can configure them on Cisco switches. Thank you.